we are all familiar with heat we feel it on our body when the sun shines we use heat for cooking our food we reduce the heat by adding ice cubes while preparing fruit juice let us learn about sources of heat sun we all know that the sun gives us light does it give us heat after standing under the sunlight for some time touch your head does it feel hot yes it feels hot because the sun gives out heat besides light now you can understand why it is difficult to walk barefooted on sunny days in the afternoon combustion or burning heat energy can be generated by burning of fuels like wood kerosene coal charcoal gasoline or petrol oil etc friction rub your palms for some time and then hold them to your cheeks how do you feel we can generate heat by rubbing two surfaces of some substances in the past people used to to rub two stones together to light fire electricity when electric current flows through a conductor heat energy is produced the water heater iron box electric kettle etc work on this principle let us know about the meaning of heat molecules in objects are constantly vibrating or moving inside objects we cannot see that movement with our naked eye when we heat the object this vibration and movement of molecules increases and temperature of the object also increases thus heat is an energy that raises the temperature of a thing by causing the molecules in that thing to move faster heat is not a matter it doesn't occupy space it has no weight like light sound and electricity heat is a form of energy in short heat is the total kinetic energy of constituent particles of objects si unit of heat is joule the unit calorie is also used thermometers are used to measure temperature accurately and quantitatively temperature the measurement of warmness or coldness of a substance is known as its temperature si unit of temperature is kelvin celsius and fahrenheit are the other units used celsius is called as centigrade as well it determines the direction of flow of heat when two bodies are placed in contact let us know about the differences between heat and temperature heat and temperature are not the same thing they in fact mean two different things temperature is related to how fast the atoms or molecules move or vibrate within the substance heat not only depends on the temperature of the substance but also depends on how many molecules are there in the object temperature measures the average kinetic energy of molecules heat measures the total kinetic energy of the molecules in the substance total heat is measured by calorie the amount of heat needed to raise 1 gram of water by 1 degree centigrade is called as 1 calorie flow of heat water flows when there is a difference in the levels of water in different places it doesn't matter if there is more water in one place or another water from a puddle can flow into a reservoir or other way around the temperature of an object is like the water level it determines the direction in which heat will flow heat energy flows from higher temperature to lower temperature thermal contact and thermal equilibrium consider two bodies a and b let the temperature of a be higher than that of b on bringing bodies a and b in contact heat will flow from hot body a to the cold body b heat will continue to flow till both the bodies attain the same temperature the temperature determines the direction of flow of heat two objects are said to be in thermal contact if they can exchange heat energy 
thermal equilibrium exists when two objects in thermal contact no longer affect each other's temperature for example if a pot of milk from the refrigerator is set on the kitchen table the two objects are in thermal contact after a certain period their temperatures are the same and they are said to be in thermal equilibrium 